Welcome viewers click the red button to subscribe and press bell icon to get all updates. First Lady Melania Trump got to, was forced to, sit next to Russian President Vladimir Putin at a dinner of G20 summit leaders on Friday evening. And the dinner company came just hours after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson sent her in to break up Putin's meeting with her husband which reportedly lasted more than two hours and was interrupted by numerous administration officials. President Trump's conversation with Putin signified the first time the Republican brought up Russia's hacking of the 2016 presidential election, which Putin promptly denied. With the day's business out of the way, the leaders enjoyed a concert and then a Friday night dinner, in which couples were split up and not seated with their spouses. That's how Melania Trump ended up next to Putin with President Trump seated down the way, closer to German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Chinese President Xi Jinping. It would have been pretty interesting to have been a fly on the wall during Melania and Putin's dinner conversation. Since she grew up in Slovenia, Melania speaks German, in addition to other languages, which Putin does as well. Prior to the dinner, German Chancellor Angela Merkel hosted the group at Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. And guess who the Trumps sat next to during the symphony? Lol. None other than our boy, French President Emmanuel Macron, who made headlines yesterday when he fought to stand next to POTUS during a group photo at the summit. It's so funny to watch these leaders interact, especially with Trump. From what we've seen so far, other world leaders generally take well to POTUS. And if this trip abroad goes anything like his last, the media will have very little to say about it.